Hey, what's going on? So in today's video, I'm gonna be working on my enclosed trailer. This is a seven by 14 enclosed trailer. I had a six by 12 and last year I upgraded to this thing and I've just never really given it the time to outfit it to be able to handle my stuff. Uh, in my old trailer, I had a shelf built in here and a bunch of shelving built in the back. So I have just bought this saw and I did a video on this. I did a couple videos on this saw recently. So I'll put a card for that up top here as well as some links in the description to this Bosch Glide miter saw. This thing is awesome. So one of the reasons that I got this saw was it has this knuckle system here. So it doesn't ever hit the wall, right? So my old DeWalt saw, I had to have out way out here because it slid all the way back and you could never get it this tight to the wall. Um, so this saw was like intentionally purchased to be able to use in this like mobile shop setup. So what I wanna do here is this side, this big flat wall, I've already got a whole bunch of plywood leaned up here. And basically this is gonna be my sheet goods wall. So plywood, drywall, anything like that is gonna go here. Uh, this side, I'm going to build in this table for the miter saw. Uh, my, my big rolling compressor is gonna slide underneath here, as well as my table saw. And I'm still debating on which way I'm gonna build this. Uh, I've actually wrote, I've wrote down the dimensions of the saws so I can go upstairs and figure this out. But basically, I wanna build this thing so that this, is at the same height-ish as it is when it's on the stand. So when I take it out and I put it on the stand on a job, it feels like it's in the same spot. You know, I don't want to be like having it up too high or too low. I want it to feel consistent. And I toyed with the idea of putting the table saw right here because it's just easy to walk up the ramp and boom, just drop it. So I might do that. The only downside to that is that means the miter saw is slid down further. There's not quite enough room for me to stack the table saw on top of the compressor with shelving and, and little catchers so they don't fall out and all that kind of stuff. There's just not quite enough room to do that. So I think what I'm going to do is build this thing in so that the miter saw is down here. And then either the table saw will set alongside it on the left side or underneath it on a shelf but I haven't quite figured that out yet. But like I said, I've got all these dimensions. I've already measured up the whole trailer and drawn that up on graph paper. That's up in my office. So I'm gonna bring these dimensions of these tools in particular up there and kind of play around with it and see what I can do. But let me show you inside here a little bit more. Alrighty, so like I said, on this wall, the compressor is going to be there. And I think I want to keep my shop vac underneath here so that I can hook up the shop vac to the saw. So I'm not blowing dust all over the place when I'm in here using it. And this is, I forget, I think it's like a little over eight foot from where this curve ends here to the door. So basically that's a big eight foot table with a whole bunch of storage underneath. I'm not really exactly sure how I'm going to do it yet but I've got a lot of stuff I got to fit into this trailer. Um, obviously these ladders are in here. I don't know if they're probably not going to stay here forever. So you can see here, I've got tools piled on top of tools and you got to step over stuff or on stuff to get to the things in the back corner. And it's just a pain. It doesn't work very well. Um, I've got my little compressor that I bring inside houses in here. Here's my, my table saw that I'm, going to be building it up front and uh, some of this stuff like these toolboxes I keep in my truck sometimes um, obviously I've got like regular plastic sawhorses as well as these sawhorses and I've got more of these that I need to be able to have in here so I got a lot of stuff I got to store in here there's a lot more than what is even just here that I want to bring into this trailer. So these sheets right here on the outside that look all fresh and brand new these are for a project I'm working on so I'm not using these, but behind this, I've got a whole bunch of sheets of plywood and cutoffs and all sorts of stuff that's like leftover from jobs or I, I bought an extra sheet. You know, like there's a sheet back here that I did some subfloor for a uh, room in my house and I bought an extra sheet by mistake. So I like, I got an extra sheet of that and I've got all this wood that, this is like trim that I ripped out of a house. You can see it's painted. 
So I'm gonna use all of this stuff that I've collected over years and just got laying around and try to use up a bunch of this stuff. I got more in my shed than I'm gonna be using and more in my, at my shop if I need it. Um, so a lot of this that I'm building is gonna be without me spending any money other than my time. So down here, the goal is to just build shelving in here and this has a curve in the front of this trailer so it's all gotta be cut to fit the curve. And like I got my spare tire, you don't even know it's in here, but there's a spare tire for the trailer down in that corner under a bunch of tools. And I wanna make this, cause the table saw is gonna be set up here. I wanna make this shelf with, uh, all these shelves are gonna have like a piece of plywood on the face so that nothing falls off when I'm driving. But I want that piece of plywood to be at the same height as the deck of the miter saw so that when I have long boards run through here, they're supported. And I may or may not build shelving up here. It's definitely not going to be today, but at some point there might be some shelving up here, depending on how much storage I need. Once I get this built and that built, then I'll know a little bit more about what I need in the future. Um, and then for wood on the other end, you might be wondering how I'm going to do that. I'm, I've got like one of those roller stands that I can just set on the uh, back gate of the trailer and that will be able to carry the lumber that way. All right, so the next thing I'm going to do is run inside. I'm going to draw this up quick and see um, what I think I want to build. Then I'm going to come out here and just start emptying the trailer and start building. All right, so here's a little update with what I've got with the trailer right now. I ended up building this out so that the compressor fits standing on end right there. And then when the trailer doors up, it'll hold it in place. I'll probably also put some sort of a strap or bungee around that thing. Um, table saw is down there for now. I'm not exactly sure if I'm building a shelf in, probably will. And the saws right here. And like I said, it works out perfectly that it doesn't hit. Um, and I've got plenty of space here to walk between the saw and the plywood rack. So underneath here, I built in a place for the vacuum so that I can hook the vacuum right up to the saw and uh, help minimize the dust inside here. Um, there's gonna be a lip on this thing all the way around so the saw won't slide off. And I, I kind of built this so that the saw can be slid down to this end if I want. So if it's really bad weather and I wanna cut in here, I can just come in and out of the side door and then it would give me, you know, like six, four to six feet to the back door to be able to cut on the right side of the saw and leave me room on the left side of the saw to still cut too. Uh, and the whole reason that this ended up this length was it was an eight foot sheet of plywood with a leg cut off of it. Um, so that's basically what it was. I knew what the height is I wanted. So I ripped it to two feet and cut one leg and whatever was left was the length. And then this space I just made just a little bit bigger than the vacuum. And then over here, I don't 100% know if this is the way it's gonna go yet, but I think it is. Um, I have another piece that was left over that fits right on top here. And what that does is that is the same height as the deck of the uh, miter saw. So this becomes basically like an outfeed table and I'm gonna have a leg that goes down here. And either the trash can's gonna live in here or I'll build shelving in underneath. I haven't 100% decided yet exactly what's happening. Um, and then on the back wall, I built shelving and because it's a curve, so I had to scribe it as best as I could up to this whole curved front of the trailer um, for both shelves, just so stuff doesn't fall behind it. It doesn't have to be perfect, but I didn't want things being able to fall in there. And uh, I'm going to be putting a nosing on this that sticks up. And that nosing will be at the same height as the deck of the miter saw. So that if I have a long board over here, it can set on top of here while I'm cutting and won't, you know, fall down or whatever. So that's what I've got so far. Um, I'm, I'm not sure if I'm putting a third shelf up here. I probably will at some point. Um, I have a spare tire that I'm trying to fit in here somewhere. It originally, I've been driving around with it down there, but that bottom shelf is going to have my tent and my stand for the miter saw. 
uh, underneath there and I'm trying to figure out if I have to rework this whole shelving unit to fit the tire in there or the tire up there or I'm not really sure. I also had the thought of strapping the tire under the miter saw right there. So a lot of different options I still got to figure out but that's where I've gotten so far. Uh, I also do plan to build some sort of a cabinet up here with a lip on it that I can store long up to what the, what's this trailer 14 foot so I can store like 12 foot boards up there uh, that would go all the way across the top so that is my progress so far uh, I'm gonna try to do a little bit more today and we'll see how far I get all right so here is the finished trailer I made this little step stool here because it's really tall to get in there so I got all these shelves here that have a whole bunch of tools and screws and saws and blades and whatever sandpaper right there and more screws tons of stuff and room for more and underneath there is my my stand for the miter saw and behind that is my tent uh, and I've got my small handy compressor right here and of course some cones uh, and then here I've got two D-rings, if you can see them there, they came up off the floor. I stuck them on the wall there. And this is all short, like pieces of plywood and stuff in there. And I just, it works perfectly that my ladder goes over it and it just kind of hugs everything and holds it all in there. So that works out well. And so I've got the broom and the vacuum thing just kind of leaning up here. Um, and then there's all my plywood and drywall and all that kind of stuff, my sheet goods all strapped in there as well as my two stands. And then above all that, I built this shelf, which is pretty sweet. It's got this really big lip on it so I can store um, all sorts of wood and stuff up there. And then this fits my two sawhorses that I use. And you can see all these cuts in them. I like to use these because they've got wood and I can just cut sheets of plywood or whatever on them and not have to worry about it. Um, and my, my plywood grabber tool. Then I've got a little trash can full of short cutoffs, random stuff, and a uh, uh, bucket full of shims. And then on the other side here, I've got my compressor, which when the door is up, it holds the compressor right in place there. And then, of course, the Bosch Glide miter saw, which this whole bench was all built around. And down there, I haven't really figured out what I'm doing yet, but I just threw my table saw down there for now. I'm probably going to build a shelf above it, uh, just so I have another place to put some stuff. And my spare tires right there, there's a hook and a bungee holding it in place. And my vacuum fits in perfectly right there, and at some point I'm probably going to make it so that I can hook it right up to the saw. That's kind of why I wanted it right in here. And my trash can, as well as my um, sawhorses, my other set of sawhorses, the easy ones. Uh, I did make this a little wider than I needed to. There's kind of too much space here. Um, I planned, because sometimes the trash can can get kind of oblong when you're jamming stuff in there. But after I saw how this worked out and this overhangs, I think what I'm going to do is actually pull this back out, cut this down a little bit, and slide this thing over um, just to get it all not impeding in the doorway because there is room under there. And then over here, I've got power that I mounted right to the wall, so I just plug that into an extension cord. And right now I've just got a temporary light, um, and I've got a couple more of them right here that don't have the covers for them. And I'll probably just throw some LED bulbs and mount them in here until I figure out what I want to do. If I want to run LED light strips on the ceiling or something, I'm not 100% sure. And uh, of course, then I've got my two hooks for hoses and cords uh, that I want to keep in the trailer. And I think that's about everything. I'm not really sure what else to say about it. So there you go. Well, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed watching the transformation of this trailer, give this video a thumbs up down below. Let me know what you think. This is not like a Ron Polk thing. I don't have crazy slide out drawers or anything like that because this is uh, a utility type trailer more than, you know, having all my tools and everything in here. I've got a lot of my tools in my truck actually. So maybe I'll do another video on that where I talk about my truck because 
I've got a really sweet setup in there. Everything is very well organized. I know exactly where all my tools are. Um, so anyway, that's it. Thanks for watching and subscribe to the channel. I'll see you on the next video.